Hi there, this is Rob from The Property Man. I'm here today at this absolutely stunning uh, four bedroom detached property located here on Dane Road. And uh, as you can see, they've got a driveway here which can easily accommodate uh, three vehicles. Uh, so if I just stand back a little bit, you will see how much space you have uh, on this driveway. It's beautifully presented. It's been uh, refurbished to a very high standard. Uh, location on Dane Road, that is uh, Old Hall Road, just round the corner there. And then obviously further down there, you've got um, heads towards Sale and uh, the Metrolink. So we've got Metrolinks on both sides. So there's one at um, South Water Park and obviously one further down on Dane Road. Um, so I'll take you inside and let you have a look at the property. Uh, just before I do that, I'll just spin around so you can see what else you have here at the front. So obviously your driveway, and then there's a small cobbled area here. So there's a possibility you could get more than three cars on this driveway. It also has a garage here with this um, uh, roller door here. So uh, perfect uh, for storage. So first thing you notice when you walk in is this beautiful entrance porchway here. Uh, original timber door and uh, the two timber sides on there with all the original stained glass window in there, which is really nice. It's, it's, it's actually quite welcoming to see that the owners of this property haven't just ripped all of this out and kept some original features. So let me go in, um, so we open it through a beautiful door. And the first thing you notice, this amazing wide and extra large hallway here with an absolutely stunning staircase that winds its way up to the first floor. Along um, the hallway, you have all this beautiful engineered wood that this then flows all the way through into the kitchen diner and also into the uh, rear reception room in here. So just whilst I spin around, you can see how much space this hallway is. It's absolutely beautiful. Just before we go into all the other rooms, there is a downstairs toilet just off here. And as you can see, it's tiled. Uh, it's partly tiled. Just close the toilet seat because I was well trained at home. Um, so part tiled walls, uh, tiled flooring there as well. And then as you come into the front living room, really good size, nice and bright and airy and uh, lovely bay window here, UPVC double glazing on this bay window. So I'll just wander around so you can see the size of this room. Uh, it is really big, nice tall ceilings um, and nice wide uh, reception room here as well. It's quite nice they've got these timber doors with the glass fronts on them. Uh, allow a lot of natural light into the property. And then just behind there, you also have uh, a second reception room. And this is where the original part of the house ends here. So it's still got the original uh, French doors that lead out into the kitchen diner area, but originally that would have just led out to the garden. And you can see here, you've got this lovely fireplace in there, the gas fireplace, and again, all this engineered wood that runs all the way through. Really good size reception room. So you've got two living rooms in here, which is just superb. So now I'm gonna take you into the open plan kitchen diner. Now this is beautiful. So you'll see on the, you've probably seen on the photographs how big this kitchen is. It is a monster of a kitchen. And I'll just run through a few of its benefits. So obviously as you walk through, you've got this huge space here. Great for entertaining. I can see you having amazing parties here with loads and loads of space. And you also have all these cupboards in here. So bags of storage in this kitchen. Um, you've got things like um, your uh, Neff um, double ovens. And one of them is obviously a microwave as well. You have all these quartz worktops, sunken sink. You also have a hot tap in here as well, uh, which is a real benefit. And you've got uh, a larder unit uh, just in here. So really good sized larder unit. And then you also have just on the side here, uh, fridge and freezer. Plenty more cupboard space all under there. And then, um, so loads and loads of storage for crockery, etc. And then you obviously have your gas uh, hob, which is sunken uh, in there as well. And then just on the other side, you have an integrated dishwasher. Uh, you also have a remote control uh, extractor fan up there. Really nice slimline, so it doesn't take anything out of the room. It's absolutely stunning. Now, 
Great day to uh, take photos of this property because the sun is shining and this is what these bifold doors are for to open all this up and make it flow right into the, uh, into the garden area. So we go around, we see the dining area here and they're the French doors that lead, led to that second uh, reception room at the rear. But again, you can see good sized dining tables, six chairs around there. You could have an even bigger dining table in here if you wanted. But uh, again, these French, these uh, bifold doors are absolutely superb. So you've got all this composite decking here that is raised on the same level as the house and uh, plenty of space there. And they've obviously got a really large corner sofa in here as well. Uh, the sun is absolutely shining today. And uh, so you do get the sun most of the afternoon in this garden. It drops down you get the benefit of the sun towards the end of the garden at the end of the day. So let me step down onto the garden area. So as you can see, they have this timber summer house in here. And then let's just have a look at the rear of the property. So as you can see, the uh, rear extension here, flat roof extension brings the property all the way out and it's all clad in this beautiful timber. And I think it's just a really nice addition to this property. It really makes this house exactly what it is, which is a fantastic family home. So just another benefit, um, there is a little gate here. Now this little gate leads out, you can't see it that well because it's, it's all overgrown. There's a small little wooded area that you can walk through and then through there, um, there is a open field. Uh, so if you've got children, kids can go out there, kick a ball about and have a good run about and it's really good. You can actually see them better from the, um, hopefully from upstairs. So let's go back inside. I'm just gonna show you a few other bits on the ground floor. So on the left hand side here, this door leads to um, what could be a study, a small family area, a bit of a chill out room. And uh, as you can see, they've got uh, a sofa in here, home office. So it'd make a perfect home office study um, or even a, a room if you wanted to work from home in various forms, you could use this for, uh, for this room as well. Let's go through into the utility room. So utility room, you've got obviously your sink and drainer. You've got space here for um, appliances. So you've got space for a washing machine and a dryer. And it's nice and warm, this room. So clothes will dry very easily in here. You see, they've got quite a large, large fridge in here. So um, plenty and plenty of space. Worcester Bosch combi boiler, uh, which heats the property, heating and hot water. So uh, no problems there with heating this house. And then. So now we'll go through into the garage. So this door leads you into the garage. And as you can see, loads of room for storage. There's bags of stuff in here, but just ignore all of that. You can actually gives you an idea of how much stuff you can pop into a garage. Uh, roller door there, which leads out to the front. So we're just gonna go upstairs now, but just before we go upstairs, there are some really nice original features here. You have a working butler's bell. So um, in various rooms, I'm thinking a couple of the bedrooms, um, and your living room and rear reception room, there are the buttons that still work for that, which is a really nice feature. Uh, and it's nice to see that that's not been ripped out as well. So staircase leads up to the first floor. Now, typical with a lot of these properties, um, the uh, lavatory is just here on the half landing. And as you can see, really good size in there. Half tiled walls, you've got the little vanity sink and obviously your toilet there. So separate toilet, then you come into this beautiful landing area here. And this timber, uh, these timber balustrades are just beautiful and it's really nice that they've sort of maintained all those and kept them, um, kept them original. So we're gonna go into bedroom one, which is located at the rear. Um, really good sized bedroom again. And if you've probably seen on the photos, this one has a, uh, a, a freestanding bath in it, uh, which I think is a really good feature. Um, so obviously you can sit in the bath, hope and a glass of bubbly, and then look out. Because you're not overlooked here, so you can enjoy all the views of the trees over there and enjoy a good soak and relax and wind down from the day. So really good sized bedroom. We've got a huge bed in here. They've got all uh, freestanding wardrobes there. And obviously you can see the amount of space that we've got around here, even with all this 
uh, the wardrobes and the bath in this bedroom. So bedroom two located at the front, again, another double. It's a really good size room. And as you can see, again, we've got a huge bed in here. We've got a desk, chest of drawers, and again, it's absolutely bags of space in here, which is perfect. Bedroom three, again at the front, another double bedroom. I've actually got a single bed in here, but you could easily accommodate a double bed in this room. And again, really nice high ceilings. I'll show you that from this angle. And then we go through to bedroom four, which is located just at the rear. So again, bedroom four, uh, it is a double. Obviously they've got quite a large sleigh bed in here. So even with this extra large bed in here, you can see how much room we've got. Um, and again, you've got all these unspoilt views out onto the garden and the trees that, uh, that surround it. Finally, you've got the uh, bathroom. So in the bathroom here, so it's tiled top to bottom, it's got a walk-in shower here. So as you can see, you've got your rain head shower and extra shower attachment. Then you've got your floating sink. You have a beautiful black um, heated towel radiator. And then there's a lovely mirror on the wall that all lights up. So this property is available for sale. And if you'd like to arrange a viewing on this property, you can contact our team on 0161 519 8855. That is 0161 519 8855. Alternatively, you can email us sales at thepropertyman.co.uk. That's sales at thepropertyman.co.uk. And that's Rob Smith from The Property Man here today. And this absolutely stunning detached four bedroom property on Dane Road in Sale. Thank you.